Hey there, it's Boots Owen here. I'm with a bicycle in the workshop that I'm stripping down for parts and I got it because it was really cheap and didn't have one wheel. I've got to take this lock off it. Well, I don't have to because if I'm going to just throw the frame away, I might as well not. But I want to see how easy it is to get through a little cable lock like this. Typically, you can buy these for very small money. They're a braided steel cable, I think, within a rubber, rubbery, plasticky... Um, what would you call that? Sheath. Nothing much to them. I don't think they provide a great level of security. But uh, I've got a little very short, what's that, about 10 inches long cable cutters. I'm just going to see if that'll do it. Oh, wow, that was that was too easy. Okay. <laughs> um, right, just so that you can see that again. We're less than a minute here and most of it was me talking. This is like a scissors, basically. So you need some level of strength in your hand. I'm holding it near the end. You break through the rubber and then you just go pop. And so the actual cable is made up of many small wires, but it's tiny. It looks it looks a lot bigger. The cable looks a lot bigger when you see it through the plastic outer, but uh, inside it's actually bloody tiny. So you're only cutting through something very, very small there. Don't get me wrong, locks like these have their purposes. If you just want to nip in and out of a shop and you're not too worried, and you can see the bike the whole time maybe, or if you want to lock a dustbin to a railing, something like that. But even then, you know, this is not a this is not a high-tech tool. I'm sure you can get one of these. This is a Draper branded one. I'm sure you can get a generic branded one in a pound shop for probably the same price as the lock. I wouldn't protect anything with a lock like this. There you go. Thanks for watching. See you later.